What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So we got the Kyosho 1969 Chevy Camaro Z28. Let me show you what this thing looks like on the outside of the box. So here it is all packed in its box. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's get this thing out. All right, so what's in the box as far as in the bag here, you get a wrench, get some little disc brakes as well. But they're already on there. Anyway, um, you do get other little shock spacers in there. So you want to stiffen up the ride or what have you. There's even little shock ends to lower the vehicle or raise it up depending on how it sits at this point in time. Stuff to adjust your shocks. So really nice on that one. You do get a manual in there as well. So we want to check that all out. So it's a Ziploc bag so you can take it out and reseal it once you're done with it. And then also the radio. I do like this radio anyhow. So it's got lots of a little adjustments on it, as you can see there. So I do like that nice little foam grip that's on it. And then your four double A's at the bottom that you just slide that cover off. All right, let's get to the car. Want to show you guys underneath the vehicle so we can see the front headlights so they do have the ability to put leds in the front and also in the rear and you want to go a little bit faster or what have you um, first thing i would go ahead and do is just get yourself aluminum drive shaft they're like nine bucks or so so they're really inexpensive and that's going to be better just because of the fact that I ran this type of car on 3S and it's not, not recommended. So if you're going to do it, probably going to burn up the motor. But I did do it before and that little drive shaft was just vibrating away. So I was like, yeah, that's got to have to be, re needs to be replaced for sure. So once you get some RPMs in it. So yeah, definitely recommend that if you're, def if you're going to go with brushless anyhow. Didn't have any kind of adjustments when it comes to the shocks. As you can see there, the shock towers. So nothing on there, but it does give you the shock ends. Like if you can kind of look right in there. Anyway, that part of it in the little bag that comes with the spare parts has it where you have, you can make them shorter. So drop the vehicle down a little bit more for your liking. Just have the little Dean connector. So that's nice on that part of it or T style, however you want to call it. Got the Velcro strap that's on there. And let's go ahead and go over to what this car comes set up as default. So if by chance you're looking to run this thing on a nickel metal hydride battery, go ahead and get that one little dude out of the way. All right, so as right now, you can see where it says LiPo, so L-I-P-O, and it's on nickel metal. So uh, if by chance you don't have a LiPo and you're like, I have a nickel metal, then you'll wanna move that little jumper over. So I'm talking about here. You wanna look at your instructions anyhow. And then the jumper that's right above it, where it says FBR, FB, and, and FR, just means forward, brake, reverse, and then it has forward, brake. And then if you take the jumper completely off, then you just have forward and reverse. Now, I did notice that they did remove the cover. There was a cover on this on previous, like my uh, Dodge Hellcat, the purple one. It had a cover over it, and I was like, wow, suffocation for sure, not airflow. So I actually took it off the cover anyhow. Now they don't even come with the cover on them, so that's good. Uh, your little on and off switch on there as well. This is four wheel drive, so it's gonna make it nice and easy to drive and control. Then two wheel drive as far as rear wheel drive. Anyhow, there are some adjustabilities when it comes to the bodies or the body post, as you can see there, and then as to the front also. Nice little foam bumper in the front. I do like the wheels, does have, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but you can see like a little tiny bit of red that's in there. So they do have like the, disc brakes in there so it does come in the packet so you have some other rotors or discs that um I, I don't know if it offsets it so it makes the tire stick out a little bit further i think that's what it does it'll set that stance a little bit wider so i've noticed that in the other kits as well i usually take them off or the rotor because i noticed they kind of rub and if you're trying to go fast you don't want any more resistance than possible so i had taken off um the little caliper that sits in there. Just a little red piece, two little screws that are in there. 
But um, yeah, overall, I like it. Uh, I know about it as far as when it comes to the way it handles. So I'm uh, probably not gonna drive this one just because of the fact that I just like that body. I don't wanna mess it all up. So this is probably gonna be shelved or so. Anyhow, so you probably won't see any running videos of it, but there's plenty of running videos out there for you guys. But anyway, I appreciate you guys as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. Catch you on the next video, and I'll put a link down in the description below if you guys want to get one of these from omgrc.com. Until next time, you guys take care, and thank you again for watching. Peace.